Hello, hello, hello. I'm Andrea Joyce and I'm the author of 31 Ways to Self-Care. If you do not have your book yet, you can get it today. Go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or my website, authorandreajoyce.com or andreajoyce.net. Make sure you have your copy and are working the activities. There's a lot of knowledge in here. We are on chapter 22. Release negativity and negative people. Yeah. <laughs> Woosa. <laughs> We have to get to a place where we protect our peace. Now, I do want to tell you this, that there are times when it's really not protecting your peace, but rather it's running away from a situation you need to handle. Make sure you're honest with yourself. This is why you're going to see inside, look inside and see how you really feel about a thing. And we're going to talk about cleaning out your closet very soon because there are times when people say, I'm protecting my peace, but really what they're doing is causing a situation to be even worse because instead of addressing a situation and getting a handle on it and having some resolution, you leave it hangling, hanging and dangling in the wind for it to come back at another time and it might be worse. Never be afraid to confront some issues that need to be confronted. You cannot overcome anything that you're not courageous enough to confront. It's not easy talking about the tough things, the hard things. It's not easy, but it's very necessary that you get everything out, everything in the open, so it's addressed. Now, once you do that, if there's no resolution, or the resolution isn't one that's a win, you are free to walk away. You are free to close doors. You are free to say maybe later, maybe another time, but I tried. Remember we talked about change in one of the earlier chapters? Remember I told you change is not often easy? Sometimes change is not even wanted. So just because you're caring for yourself and you're making the necessary changes in your healing doesn't mean the other party or the other parties are doing the same. So as you're evolving and you're growing, you may have to release some people because they're not moving in the same direction you're moving in. There's some people that will never be able to go to the places that you're going to go. There's some heights, some, some depths, some promotions, some elevations that you won't be able to take everybody with you. It's the truth. So you need to understand that even if you love someone, even if you care for them, you might have to leave them behind because holding on to them is hindering you. You can't fly if they're hanging on to your tail feathers. Remember we talked about in an earlier chapter pouring positive things into yourself, putting yourself first. Well, this ties into this. There's some people in our lives that are abusive, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's mental or verbal, they're abusive. You don't deserve to be abused. There's nothing you've done on this earth where abuse should be tolerated. I'm sorry. I would rather you remove yourself from a dangerous situation than sit in it and face the possibility of death. And death doesn't just happen physically. There are people who speak negative to us and it kills our dreams. It's sure enough death. They tell us we're not worthy. They tell us we are... Um, not valued, that why were we born? We should have never been born. They should have. And those things chip away at our self-esteem. They chip away at our confidence. They chip away at the love that we have for ourselves. They chip away at how we value ourselves. And in time, we feel they're, that we're undeserving of good things and good people. And we get into this place of, I'll take anything I can get just to get something. We settle and settling is not what we should do. You're valuable. 
even if no one ever tells you, tell yourself that. And I know it's easier said than done, believe me. It took me years to subscribe to this way of thinking, years. Because unfortunately, I had people in my life that were negative. They browbeat me, they beat me down. You know how they say, and this is real, because you'll hear this, self-esteem is the way you esteem you and no one should be able to control that. I beg to differ. Yes, self-esteem is how I feel about myself. But if you constantly tell me that I am unworthy, if I constantly see in your words and your actions that I am not worthy, I begin to believe it. Especially if you're a child. Especially if you have parents that are negative. Those are people who are your first role models. So if they're telling you you're dumb, you start to subscribe to that. I am dumb. If they tell you you're ugly, you start to subscribe to that. I am ugly. But this is why at some point I pray, I hope, I wish, I desire that you would understand how precious you are, how gifted, how talented. And if no one else tells you that you would find within yourself the strength and the courage to believe how great you are. And to remove yourself from the presence of those that can't see your beauty or your greatness or your value. You deserve to be valued. So in this chapter, I talk about releasing yourself from negativity and negative people. I offer to you some scriptures that help me to start speaking to myself, to get the courage to stand up to people who didn't see me. The problem was this, they saw past mistakes, they saw who I used to be, but I had grown past that. I had grown up and they hadn't seen who I was. And it wasn't my job to defend myself. I wanted to. There have been many times I've wanted to defend myself and I haven't been able to because they wouldn't listen. They couldn't hear me, but it was okay. As I moved away from them, I was able to show them with my actions who I am. Some people I had reconciliation with, others I didn't. And it's okay. I'm better for it. So I'm here to help you to see that you are valued and you are valuable. Put yourself first. Affirm who you are. Don't wait for someone else to do it for you. Remember, self-care is important. And this is a huge way to care for yourself. Releasing negativity, even you releasing yourself when you want to put yourself down. Release yourself from that and only speak positive things to yourself. Don't say you're stupid because you made a wrong choice. You made a wrong choice. That doesn't make you stupid. Be careful with your words that you speak over yourself. Be careful of the words you speak over your children. Be careful of the words you speak over those that you love. Be very careful. Words hurt. Remember that saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is an untruth. There are some hits I've taken that I've forgotten about. But the words will always remain with me. And I have to counteract those negative words, those negative statements, the, the negativity with positive ones. And I had to do it over and over and over. I still do it because there are times that those words revisit my memory. And I have to cancel it out and look at myself and affirm again who I am. Be mindful. Words have power. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. So be careful what you choose to say about you and other people. Releasing negative people and negativity is a great way to self-care. Self-care matters. It's something you should prioritize every day of your life.